let's get ready to rumble! Fighting out of the blue corner with head trainer, former world champion Robert Garcia. Wearing green with white and red. Official weight, 146, one half pounds. His professional record, outstanding at 31 victories, including 22 knockouts, only one defeat with one draw. From Oxnard, California, USA, the former lightweight champion of the world, Brandon Bam Bam Rio. And fighting out of the red corner, with Hall of Fame trainer Freddie Roach, wearing royal blue and officially weighing 145 pounds. His professional record, Hall of Fame credentials, 54 victories, including 38 knockouts, five defeats with two even. From Sarangani province, the fighting pride of the Philippines, eight-time world champion, Manny. Okay, gentlemen, this is for the WBO international title. You got your instructions. I want you to obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Good luck and God bless you both. Everyone's expecting a dust up. When the dust settles, do we have the end or the rebirth of an era? Get back in there. Right. Good. Good. Round one begins. Sell our crowd of 13,101 jacked up and into it as the combat gets underway in the ring. And right away you see Brandon come out using that jab, which is part of what you wanted to see earlier. Was he coming out to just go out and beat Brandon Rios, or was he coming out to win? Showing that jab is showing the same discipline that he showed throughout his training camp this time. So you know he's coming to give it his all. Left hand shot to the body. Manny Pacquiao has worked with tremendous discipline and dedication in his training camp, his 12-week training camp, polishing the straight left hand to the body, which he and Freddie Roach believe will be the key to victory in this fight. trying to adjust to Pacquiao's speed here early and maybe the butterflies he's feeling being in a fight of this magnitude for the first time in his career. And Pacquiao's already landed a couple of combinations. Locked Rios' right hand with his left glove. I can promise you one thing, the butterflies are not bothering Rios, but he does have to figure out how to adjust to his speed. It's something that he's never seen before. foot on the outside of Rios's left foot pretty much at will so far. Giving Pacquiao better punching angles. Pacquiao's jab and his left hand are landing early. Rios working his own jab as Roy Jones suggested he should. That punch was right on the belt line. Rios goes down, Gino Rodriguez says it was a slip. Asian crowd responds at first as though it was a knockdown. Pacquiao landing the left hand more or less at will in a, the early going. A double left hand, Jim. Very impressive punch. Rios got in a clean shot to the left side of Pacquiao's head. That was some good work by Rios there with only one hand free. He used it, worked it, and landed some punches. Yes, he did. Good uppercut landed at the end of that exchange, too. Now, there goes the Pacquiao left hand. 
right down the pipe again. Rios is getting a little better at blocking the shot, but Pacquiao is still too fast for Rios to see everything that's coming. Oh, good left there by Pacquiao. Tremendous left hand lead by Manny Pacquiao. Body shot. Copy box numbers in round one. Pacquiao 20 of 54, Rios 5 of 32. Both corners want this fight to remain as is. In Pacquiao's corner, Freddie Roach told him in and out, in and out. Rios. Garcia said, I want a few more rounds like that one. Stay low. I guess he means don't take too many chances early. Pressure fighters traditionally take a few rounds to get going, and Rios is a pressure fighter. Not only that, after a few rounds, when Pacquiao slows down a little bit, the speed becomes much closer. The conversation ain't so far. Pacquiao's not 20 miles per hour faster after round four. He's now maybe only four or five miles per hour faster. Rios imposing his size a little more in this round so far. Rios has gotten a couple of clean body shots, shots in in this round, and those body shots are clearly part of the plan to try to wear Pacquiao down. Rios is the larger man. He outweighs Pacquiao unofficially by nine pounds coming into the ring. He's an inch and a half taller. He's much more of a natural welterweight than is Manny Pacquiao. The good thing about what else Rios is doing is that he's not chasing him carelessly like we usually see him do, like with a Mike Alvarado. He's chasing him very cautiously, knowing that Pacquiao can land a shot that could end the fight at any time. And by the way, we've been talking about Rios's necessary adjustment to Pacquiao's speed. It's also worth noting, he hasn't fought a southpaw since he was 19 years old, eight years ago. But he's doing not, you know, he's doing some business in this round. And if you think about the Margarito fight, where Pacquiao really beat Margarito up from the same gym as Garcia, as, as uh, Rios. Rios. This is a younger and closer to his prime version of that kind of fighter, if not a little smaller. And what else has to be noted, which I know a guy like Michael, I mean Robert Garcia knows, is that Margarita hurt Pacquiao very bad to the body in that fight. And Rios is more skillful, I think, than Margarita. Pacquiao's doing some body work here with the right hand, setting up those shots upstairs. There have been some tremendous combinations by Pacquiao in the last 20 or 30 seconds. Freddie Roach insisted that the 12-week training camp in the Philippines was Manny's best camp in years, despite the painful distraction of the tsunami which hit while Pacquiao was there ensconced in his camp. Pacquiao is saying, come on, bring some more, but when Rios brought some more, it looked like it had an effect on him. Well, Absolutely. Well, Pacquiao is much lighter than Rios right now. He's the smaller guy. So why is he standing right in front of Brandon? I don't know. Well, maybe because Freddie Roach told him he needs an early knockout, and he wants to get an early knockout. Well, last time he told him he... Freddie Roach insisted that the 12-week training camp in the Philippines was Manny's best camp in years, despite the painful distraction of the tsunami which hit while Pacquiao was there ensconced in his camp. Pacquiao is saying, come on, bring some more, but when Rios brought some more, it looked like it had an effect on him. Well, Absolutely. Well, Pacquiao is much lighter than Rios right now. He's the smaller guy. So why is he standing right in front of Brandon? I don't know. Well, maybe because Freddie Roach told him he needs an early knockout. And he wants to get an early knockout. Well, last time he told him he needed a knockout, you saw what happened. There you go, man. Relax, relax, relax. Okay, relax. Okay, relax. Okay, good. That was beautiful. Okay. No. Don't get, don't get in the fight yet. It's much faster than his opponent. You steal him while he's throwing a jab with a straight left, and you roll out to the left, to the right side. Prompt ringside after the loss to Marquez. Jinky supposedly asked Manny, would he retire from the ring? He said no to her, said no to his mother, said his career was going to continue, and it does. Power shots through two rounds. Pacquiao 42 of 83, 18 of 43 for Brandon Rios. A hush just came over the crowd. Maybe they understand that Rios isn't going to go away so easily. A stubborn fighter who's slowly, gradually building a little bit of tempo here. Even while Pacquiao bats him around with his straight, clean punches. No question Pacquiao's winning the fight. 
but Rios has made improvements as the fight's worn on, little by little, and remains dangerous, at least looking. As long as Rios is in there on two feet, he's dangerous. Now Pacquiao's moving more, Roy Jones. No longer seems quite as interested in standing in front of Brandon Rios as was the case in the first round. Yeah, but he's not moving like I want to see him move, Jim. Like right there, he's still staying too close. Eventually, if he stays that close, uh, Rios will land something big. That's what kind of movement you want to see right there. Punch and get around Rios. That right there. That's what you want to see Pacquiao doing. Manny Pacquiao's at his best. He never backs straight up. He comes out at angles, he comes in at angles. He has amazing feet and the ability to step to where he wants to go. When he's at his best. And he's using those feet much more actively in this round than in the first two. Do it like Freddie told him. Freddie told him not to do a game for the battle yet. Use his feet, step around and box the guy until he ran down a little bit more. Then you can battle with him. There, Rios used his jab, as you said he should, Roy, and it had a good effect. Haka almost got trapped in a corner. That's Rios's office. That's where he can go to work. That's where he does his business. Good hook by Rios. And the best example I can tell you about the jab uh, slowing a guy down is when Miguel Cotto fought Shane Mosley. He used his jab to neutralize Shane Mosley's speed. Rios got him a couple of good clean shots. Pacquiao felt the need to answer back, stood his ground, and fired away. They are trading heavy leather this round. This There's is a little mark under Brandon Rios' right eye. This is what Rios wants. Yeah, this is a Rio-style fight suddenly. At least it was for moments there. But for much of the round, Pacquiao's been moving and picking his shots. Like that. Now Rios gets a chance to try to trap him again. And oh. gets in a body shot to punctuate the round. There's Miguel Cotto at ringside. Most believe he's trying to determine whether he wants to fight Sergio Martinez for the middleweight championship of the world or whether he and wants to fight good. Canelo Alvarez at 154. Keep, your head, right? Keep fighting smart, okay? Okay, we're doing it aggressive, but in a smart way, okay? okay. And you're doing very good. In the 70, Rios more accurate, 16 of 50. The competitive margin between the two of them narrowing since round one. Harold, how do you have it so <laughs> far? Look at Jim. I got a three to nothing, 30 to 27, Manny Pacquiao. You know, Jim, for a southpaw, he's got a great right hand. And then he, ba he bangs him with a right hook, a right jab, a right something, and then he turns just like that. And Rios, you know, it's hard for Rios to get him because he's always moving. I, I mean, he uses that right hand better than any southpaw I can remember. Look at that. A combination, but he always starts with a right hand. He doubled the right hand right there. And southpaws don't double the right hand. Three to nothing, Manny Pacquiao. And he's off to a hot start in round number two. Most of the guys Pacquiao's fought have said afterwards, wow, the power was surprising from a little guy, you know, once he moved up in weight. Here, Rio seems pretty comfortable taking these power shots. Well, and he's he, taking a lot of them. He's borrowed Marcus Maidana out of shape. And you take that power, you know what power really is. Manny Pacquiao paused to talk to Gina Rodriguez. Brandon Rios kept hitting it throughout the whole thing. He better realize he's in a fight. I don't like Pacquiao's body language myself, Jim. Don't like what body language? I don't like Pacquiao's body language. In what way? Well, it just doesn't look like he's having fun out there. It looks like he's working, and that's not what you want to see in a guy usually. You want to see a guy kind of enjoying what he's doing. Brandon's enjoying what he's doing. Pacquiao really is not. The dynamo Pacquiao, when he landed these kind of punches, you saw more of an effect on the opponent. Rios is a big welterweight. Even though he's coming up in weight, he is a big, strong welterweight here. So the question that seems to be emerging in our discussion here is, all right, Pacquiao's winning the battle. Is he winning the war? Because frankly, 
I think it would be a scoring mistake if, there, if we saw an official card where he hadn't won the first three rounds. But yes, Rios likes what he's doing. That's the fight Pacquiao needs right there. You see that part? See how he had before right there? That's the Pacquiao you want to see. Not Pacquiao just standing right there in front of Brandon. And Robert Garcia wants Rios not to follow him, meaning turn every time Pacquiao turns, but he wants to cut him to cut off the ring, to slide over and cut off Manny Pacquiao's escape routes. The only thing Brandon is doing wrong right now is not starting with a body attack first. He should start with a body attack first if he watched the Margarita fight. Pacquiao consistently escaping the pressure in this round, having to work very hard to do it. Pacquiao got it in one big left hand to punctuate that round. Okay. Beautiful boxing. All right, I'm here now. It's easy for you. You're way too fast. Hola, I'm Baba Gui. It's a galao. You gotta keep going. Keep going. Iron him up. Iron him up. Okay. Right hook. Right uppercut. And of course, Manny Pacquiao is even more capable of doing that with his fast defeat than Mike Alvarado. But now we're fighting at 147. Rios Alvarado was at 140. Brandon Rios fighting a southpaw for the first time in eight years. Harold Letterman has seen Pacquiao winning each of the first four rounds. Now Rios has Pacquiao moving to Pacquiao's left, which is probably what Rios wants. At least he did. He stepped off Rios' jab and counted with a straight left hand. Best punch in the fight for Pacquiao so far. See if I can woke Rios up. But the knockout of Hatton took place at 140 pounds. At welterweight and above, Pacquiao, when he scores stoppages, wears his opponent down with these kind of punches. Hard left hands to the body by Pacquiao. Three of them, a left upstairs, a right left combination. Manny Pacquiao is putting on a show in the early part of round five. Real stalker, but not throwing punches. He's got to stick that right hand out. The straight right hand out right there when he attacks Pacquiao. Or he's going to allow Pacquiao to keep stepping out to the right like he's doing and never hit him up or catch him in a corner like Robert Garcia wants him to do. So far as you advertise, Roy, Randy Rios' best punch is that stiff left jab. When he throws it, it's been effective. But now Pacquiao's right hook is forcing him to keep the left hand at home for defense. Exactly right. See, right there, you should use a straight right hand to the body, not so much to the head. Real sweet. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. You don't want to head hunt against a guy like Pacquiao. Brandon Rios is so good at working the body with the free hand in a clinch. Not good at stopping Manny Pacquiao from firing combinations in the middle of the ring. Who can? <laughs> well, one way to stop him from firing is catch him something with something hard in the exchange and knock him down or out. And that's what Brandon's trying to do right now. He's not going to beat Pacquiao to the punch, but if he punches with Pacquiao, it could be dangerous for Manny. Great body shot with the left by Pacquiao. Oh. Left, left, left. Further combination. Go, 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 go. Oh. Go, go, go. Round five has been a round in which Pacquiao has shown off his remarkable speed, his still thunderous punching authority, and his ability to get away from Brandon. Well, Rios, father of Brandon Rios at ringside. Don't, don't let him throw too many punches. Keep pressing him, keep pressing him. When you throw, don't throw just one. You gotta throw more than one at a time. You gotta throw two or three punches. And then stay at him, stay at him. Get close to him, get close to him. Get close to him. Get close to him. Get close to him. Get right? Remember, 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 right? Remember what we, okay? 
Okay, you got to say, yeah? Okay, because they already brought me his name. So you got to see Pacquiao step off of Brandon's jab right there, count it with a beautiful straight left hand, high on the head. 9 of 21 for Brandon Rios. They started fighting before the bell. <laughs> What happens when you have two guys who like to fight? Another straight left hand shot landed for Pacquiao. Peter oh. oh, Rodriguez warns Brandon Rios to keep the body shots up. I'm a little bit surprised that Brandon isn't using that straight right hand a little bit more. Pacquiao's hitting him with the straight left hand. The opposite thing to do is hit Pacquiao up, back up, with the straight right hand. Hard when the other guy's right foot is always on the outside. It, it, you know, Ran Rios is rarely in punching at the right punching angle to land that punch, I think. Well, no, he's at the right punch, right angle. Right there, when he steps to the left with his, with his jab, that's the time to throw the straight right After hand. The jab. Yeah, because his foot is outside of Pacquiao's front foot at that point. Like right there. See that? Yep. He's just not throwing it which is why I say I'm surprised. I think the real key is, Roy, Pacquiao's being disciplined about not chasing a knockout. He's not staying in there to try to land the third and fourth punch. He's firing his one-two combinations, and he's moving away, and he's making it hard for Brandon to answer. Yeah, and Rios is not yet in sellout mode. He's Two hard having, body shots for Rios. Right, he's having enough moments like that where he doesn't feel as though he needs to sell out his game plan yet. Good body shot by Pacquiao. Rios lands to the body, Pacquiao answers to the body. And again, the left hand to the body, the straight left to the body, was a major focus of training camp for Pacquiao. Good left hand to the head. That's been there since the beginning of time. Now Pacquiao looks at Chino Rodriguez to complain about a Lobo. Rodriguez does nothing. Brandon Rios clocks him upside the head. Answer, Manny, you're going to have to protect yourself against the body blows. Gino Rodriguez is not oh, a good shot. Yet. Oh, that hurt Brother Rios, I think. See, Rios' oh, instinct oh. is to fight back. You know it. That's just who he is. And he'll remain dangerous even as he's hurt. Angry about the low blow, Pacquiao that time stayed in there to fire the fourth and fifth punch in the combination. Oh. Pacquiao clearly the stronger, crisper punch. Brandon Rios has blood outside the left eye. Look it up. Look it up, guys. Look it up. Look it up. Possibly the product of a Pacquiao right hook. Left hook by Rios. Stop! Ruslan Dravodnikov. A buddy of Manny Pacquiao's, after having been his primary sparring partner for two big fights, happy with what he sees. Look at you gotta put your head a bit more. How many chances to right? throw so many punches? You gotta, you gotta work on throwing more. Okay. You gotta throw, you gotta work on throwing more than one punch at a time, all right? There you go. It's fine, it's fine. It's on the side. Make Brandon keep his hands at home for defense. 2-6, Pacquiao's 139 out of 394. Those are very good numbers. Brandon Rios lagging behind numerically, 76 out of 269. Harold, how do you have it through six? Jim, I find this fight a very, very easy fight to score so far. I got it six to nothing, 60 to 54, Manny Pacquiao. I, I mean, I think the guy's putting on a beautiful exhibition of boxing. He, sometimes he leads with that right, sometimes he leads with the left. Most of the time, he throws three or four punch combinations, then he moves. I, I mean, he turns to his left, he turns to his right, he keeps Rios covered up, he's just doing a job on him. Six to nothing, Manny Pacquiao. Rios pawing at the blood on his left eye. tentative with that the right eye now. is swelling as well both of rios's eyes are beginning to show damage yeah the right eye from that left hand that straight left hand that uh peck i keep landing repeatedly at what point does rios think okay the game plan is not working as i mentioned he hasn't sold out his game plan yet and i have to throw some blind left hooks see if i can catch this guy whether or not i know where he is exactly i'd say we're getting there 
Yes. That's they were getting there pretty fast. Pacquiao is beginning to toy with him. Yeah, now he's having fun. That's, that's what you want to see out of Pacquiao. You want to see him out there having a good time, enjoying what he does. And just when Rios was starting to do some damage to the body, referee Gino Rodriguez pulled him off of it. Straight left hand lands for Pacquiao again. Hard right hand by Rios, his best punch in a while. Pacquiao lands his own right hook. Rios just missed with a left hook. Finally drives Pacquiao into the ropes like a football player. And he gets away. The only question right now is, are there any moments left in the fight for Rios where, as a desperate puncher, it up, it up, it up. Oh, he that becomes that dangerous for Manny? Because at this moment, it's a complete paint job. Yeah, the notion of grinding Pacquiao down is ebbing away. It's going to take an explosion of some sort to disrupt Pacquiao's momentum. He's established what he can do in the fight, and he's doing it over and over. Back it up, back it up, let's go, back it up. <laughs> Good right hook. You wonder also how Brandon is carrying this extra weight. I need Hold to still. see more head movement and hands up high. Old hands for defense. Manny picked by knockout because he had changed his religion. Manny says everything's all good with mom at this point. Manny Pacquiao coming in off the longest layoff of his career, 350 days, and Roy Jones. You, along with the promoter and Freddie Roach, a variety of people said taking the long layoff was the smartest thing he could have done. Yeah, it was the smartest thing he could have done because it allowed his body to readjust from that one punch knockout. Not like he hadn't been through it before and like his body didn't know what to do, but it gives your body a chance to relax and reset itself and come back. So now the punches that you see that Bam Bam are hitting him with really aren't really phasing uh, Pacquiao much, so I think the layoff was really good for him. Not that one punch couldn't still do the job, but I'm just saying, I think that the layoff is good to help his confidence and everything else as far as taking the punch. So far, Rios is trying to do what he can do, use his size. Um, he's thrown some hard shots. He's taken, he's been opportunistic when Pacquiao's turned to the ref or when he's had one hand free like right here, and he's just being outclassed. As was the expectation of many. Manny Pacquiao is allowing Brandon Rios to fire all these right-hand punches while he holds on urgently to the left hand. It's almost as if Manny is saying, I don't much care about your right hand. <laughs> it's your left hook that bothers me. That right hand uh, took care of Alvarado in that first fight pretty good. Another that clean shot by Pacquiao. Yeah, great body shot by Pacquiao. <laughs> There's the left hook from Brandon Rios. And he landed it right on the chops. Actually, I think it was a good jab, which the punch he seems to gotten, have gotten away from. Well, if, if it was a jab, it was an angled jab. Yeah. But you can do that. Another one-two for Pacquiao. But that was the right idea for Rios. Even if you're going to take some shots, punch with Pacquiao, because you're never going to beat him to the punch. Yeah, Pacquiao keep turn, keeps turning Rios to Rios' left, and it's throwing him off because Rios can't punch well why Pacquiao's making him turn. Pacquiao's earlier focus on body shots may now be altering as the looks at Brandon Rios's right and left eye and sees the targets that could end the fight for him. And there's another hard right hand shot by Manny Pacquiao. It's very hard to discourage a willful warrior like Brandon Rios. But Pacquiao's working on it. Yeah, Rios' face is a mess right now.
turn the last one out. Cuidado, stay close to me. Keep throwing punches. Okay? Don't make it easy for him. If you give him the distance, you make it easy for him. Breathe in. Uh, he's throwing thrown some hard shots. He's taken, he's been opportunistic when Pacquiao's turned to the ref or when he's had one hand free like right here. And he's just being outclassed. As was the action. Okay. The average Pacquiao round, 23 out of 66. Heavy emphasis on power shots. Those are very representative Manny Pacquiao numbers. The Rios rounds, 13 out of 44. More jab lands than power shot lands. Those are not representative numbers for Brandon Rios, and they won't win him the fight. Pacquiao ripping Rios with straight left hands. And as long as Rios has to keep his hands at home to stop Pacquiao's power shots upstairs, it's going to be difficult for him to find a way to continue trying to break Pacquiao down. Yeah, it is, Jeff. It's going to be very hard for him to find a way to break Pacquiao down. But the one thing I think we must understand is that I don't think Bam Bam Rios ever expected to beat Pacquiao by decision. So far, in terms of how much does Pacquiao have left, what we've seen in terms of the return to form is Pacquiao fighting throughout the round rather than taking long rest periods as he had against Tim Bradley, for example. Exactly. This is a sustained effort every second of every round. Focus, concentration, devotion. Good body shot by Rios, followed by some good counter punches from Pacquiao. Part of that is also Tim Bradley, who, who can play some defense and is a very well-rounded fighter. fight and then which he got the decision in that fight but most think he didn't deserve it and then the Alvarado fight Rios is the kind of guy who seemed to be able to overcome fights where maybe it didn't look like he was having his best night or things weren't going his way he could shake it off and come through and I don't see him quitting in this fight uh, at this moment he's still trying to land big shots but he's really getting broken down by Pacquiao although maybe not quite as much in this round as in some of the previous rounds. Well, this is the biggest hand speed deficit I think Rios has ever faced. Never fought a guy with the hand speed of a Manny Pacquiao. As, as we know, speed is power. He may never have fought anybody with the punching power of Manny Pacquiao either. That's what I just said. Because Rios speed. is coming up to 140. Yeah, speed exactly. is power. Speed is power, so... Yeah. Okay. Push, 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 push right here. Okay, Brendan? You have to go away. You gotta work your way in. Don't throw from far away. Okay? Here we see Pacquiao landing his best punch throughout this whole fight, which has been the counter left and the straight left lead. That was a counter left. There's a counter left. Is Pacquiao fighting throughout the round rather than taking long rest periods as he had against Tim Bradley, for example? Exactly. This is a sustained effort. Every all types of trouble all night long, especially off of his jail. The right and the left eye. You saw blood earlier outside the left eye. The right eye hasn't burst open yet, but it's threatening to do so. Harold, how do you have it through nine? Jim, I still say it's an easy fight to score. 90 to 81, nine rounds to nothing, Manny Pacquiao. I mean, I think the guy's just pitching a shutout, fighting a beautiful fight. The right jab, the combinations, and then he moves. Constantly landing and turning, you know, landing and turning. And I got to tell you, I'll say what I said before. He's got a great right hand for a southpaw. I mean, he's got power in that hook. He snaps the jab. He does all the right things with a right hand that you don't see southpaws do. Nine to nothing, Manny Pacquiao. Oh, come here, come here, come here. In some ways, 
Don't do that, man. Don't do that. 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 This is reminiscent to me of what Sergio Martinez was able to do against Julio Cesar Chavez. The only question now remains is will Sergio or, or will Pacquiao get risky and and give Brandon a chance in the last couple of rounds the way Martinez risked, tried for a knockout and gave Chavez Jr. the chance to land those big shots. Well, so far this has been not the physical phenom Pacquiao, though he's been very fast and landed very good shots. This has been the Freddie Roach pupil Pacquiao. The guy who Freddie Roach took and refined from this physical phenom to a more complete fighter. And he's, he's showing those skills against Rios tonight. And he's very busy. Anytime he's operating like this, it's very difficult to deal with him. Now he seems to be enjoying it again. Very good analogy, I think, with the Martinez Chavez fight. Yes. It's will, looked a lot like that. Will Pacquiao give Rios chances late and will Rios take them? Will he try to make his own opportunities? He doesn't have the kind of punching thunder that Chavez Jr. has. He doesn't have what? The punching thunder that uh, Chavez Jr. has. No, one shot power. No, he doesn't, but he does throw the right type of punches. Yes. If he can land the overhand right like that. Oh, he can still hurt him. I'm yeah. not saying he couldn't hurt him. Rios is not a cruiserweight. No, he's not. That's right. But he is a junior middleweight. <laughs> And to a small welterweight like Pacquiao, it may be the same thing. No, he's a middleweight. He's 159. Right, 159. He came in as a middleweight. I thought it was 49. With his unofficial weight. See that right hand right there, Max? That's what. That's the right hand I was saying. I thought he should have thrown earlier in the fight because he had it lined up. He just, because Pacquiao punches so hard, he wouldn't let the hands go like that. But there's a certain kind of stubbornness about Rio. Rios and his face looks like it's a Rocky movie right now that Chavez Jr. also has uh, that served Chavez Jr. well late in that fight with Martina. At a left hand of the body, what they worked on so much in training camp, he hasn't used it as much in the latter stages of the fight. Firing at the eyes. Power shots in round 10. Pacquiao 21 of 40. Rios of 5 of 17. Rios just looked over at me, winked and smiled and said, I loved it, like he was mad. I love it. Well, he may love it, but he's a guy who says, I enjoy getting hit. If you wanted to enjoy getting hit, he's gotten his money's worth here tonight. Garcia, remember, was in Margarito's corner, and though it looked like there were moments where that fight could be stopped, Garcia defiantly didn't stop that fight, and he and Margarito were both glad at the end of that fight when Margarito was still on his feet in spite of the damage. Broken done. orbital bone, they were damage both, to his eye, which continues to this day. They were both proud of that. Well, Brandon hasn't taken the abuse tonight that Margarito took, though. But it's something like it. Brandon hasn't been quite as defenseless as the slower Margarito was. Exactly. No broken bones so far. That we know about. <laughs> Good hook by Pacquiao. Good hook by Brandon. Oh, another good hook by good Brandon. Good left nice hook by Brandon Rios, his best punch in quite a while. Got Pacquiao's attention. Pacquiao felt it. Good body shot by Brandon, too. But Pacquiao has to go to work again and make Brandon keep his hands at all. Four minutes left in the fight. Good jab Rios by Brandon. A right, and a right hand. Yep, jab and a right hand by Rios. He's getting better in this round. Pacquiao tiring just a bit, or so it seems. And Chavez Jr., by the way, had moments in the 11th round. Correct. That weren't dissimilar from that.
pace slows as suddenly it appears that Rios is now searching for one big shot. Well, that was his, should have been his game plan from the beginning though, Jim. He's not the boxer here, he's the fighter. That's been proven unequivocally. <laughs> Three minutes to go. You gotta go with everything, Brandon. Come on, let me go. Take your breath. How are you feeling? Good. Yeah? Yeah? Con cuidado, okay? You gotta be, be smart about it. Don't, don't, uh, don't make mistakes anyway. But I want, I need to be more aggressive, all right? But let's, let's go. Don't get caught with punches that you're not supposed to, all right? Let's keep working. Keep trying. Oh. has landed 89 power shots to 43 for Brandon Rios. As we come to the 12th round, Harold Letterman has given every one of the 11 rounds in the fight to Manny Pacquiao. A clean shutout. Let's see how the instructions in the corner play out because they want more aggression, obviously, in Rios's corner. In Pacquiao's corner, Roach doesn't want to let him let Rios build up ahead of steam. He wants Pacquiao backing making, him up. Backing him up. How does that play out when he was just knocked out in his last fight, jumping in on a guy? Pacquiao was. He don't want him to jump in on him. What he wants him to do is hit him with the four or five punch combinations to keep him back like that. Tremendous one-two combination by Pacquiao. Actually, it was a hook and straight left hand combo. Yeah, he wants him to keep him on the ear like that so that so that uh, Brandon can't get momentum coming forward. his face and head are going to look like a basketball tomorrow morning. Yes. Pacquiao hasn't had a knockout in years. Yeah, but as you see, the smart did pull pour back off of Brandon Rios because he knows last time we went too quick, he got caught himself. So he just showed you some discipline right there in the corner. When he had a chance, I think the old Pacquiao would have went for the knockout right there. He backed off. And Rios looked like there was a little wobble there, like there was a little give momentarily. We well, could have been trying to play possum. But Pacquiao didn't go for it. Rios' face. I think Pacquiao is enjoying looking at Rios' swollen, bloodied face. He is. He promised to punish Rios for the friction between the two camps that erupted into a battle in the gym the other day. He promised to show that he was the old Manny Pacquiao and that there's no reason to suggest his career is over. He promised to throw punches in bunches and to land his power shots. He's done all of that. The only thing he hasn't done is to fulfill the prediction of most boxing experts that he would get a knockout or a TKO. But maybe it wasn't worth the risk. Maybe it was better simply to pile up the numbers and outdo Rios in every round the way he has so far. Yeah. The crowd loves it. They're on their feet in the cap. to his corner, Manny Pacquiao goes to every person in Brandon Rios' corner to exchange congratulations, including Alex Ariza, with whom he has so much conflict in the past. Which once again gives is a, is a credit to the personality and the character that Manny Pacquiao really is. Manny Pacquiao is one of the best people that you ever be in the sport of boxing, and that, again, is an attribute to the person that he is. It has something to do with the worldwide Pacquiao phenomenon. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here at the Venetian Macau, we go to the scorecards. Michael Pernick scores it 120 to 108. 
Lisa Jaffa has it, 119 to 109. And Manfred Kuchler scores at 118 to 110. All to the winner by unanimous decision. He's back. The fighting pride of the Philippines, Manny. Pacquiao! Pacquiao! Final copy box numbers. Pacquiao landing 143 more punches, more than doubling Brandon Rios in landed punches, throwing 288 more, landing at a significantly higher connect percentage. Power shots, Pacquiao landing 110 more, throwing 205 more, landing at a higher percentage, although Rios landing 43 of his power shots. That's something of a dark cloud for Pacquiao looking down the road to the future. <laughs> you know, we have the job to do in the, in the ring, but after the fight, you know, we're all brothers and sisters, you know. Um... What's it like having this reception here in Asia, your first fight here since you've become a superstar? Oh, um, good evening, everybody. Thank you to all the fans who came here tonight and witnessed the good fight. They, they you know, I'm so happy and grateful and thank, uh, thankful to God that he gave me this uh, victory tonight, you know. Do you think that you've reestablished, you said your era is not over, the Pacquiao era is not over before the fight. Do you think that you proved that point with this fight and who do you want going forward? You know, first, I, I, you know, that's what I thought. I mean, uh, my, my time is not over yet, and Rios, is, he's not an easy opponent. He's a good fighter and strong fighter, and um, I consider this fight is uh, one of the toughest fight in my career. He took uh, a lot of punches and sweet punches, but he, he still stand up and fight back, you know. And who are you looking forward to, Manny? What are you looking forward to? It depends to my promoter, Bab you know. Um, I don't know, I don't know yet. Thank you, Manny, and congratulations. And thank you so much, and I would, I'd like to thank uh, to all the Filipino people, especially to those people who are affected by Typhoon. Oh, the fight is for you, the owner is, you know, is for you. Thank you so much to all of you, to all your prayers, and thank you to God that he gave me this victory and he gave me strength tonight. Thank you. Thanks, Manny.